Hi, it's Allie from APS EdTech. I want to show you a new feature in Google Classroom Assignments. Did you know you can add a YouTube video with interactive questions that you make up? Let me show you how. All right, first, let's get started by opening up a Google Classroom that you'd like to create an interactive YouTube question assignment on. Click the Create button, choose Assignment, and now down here at the bottom, you're going to look in the Attach menu for YouTube. You now see a new tab called My Video Activities. This means that you have the ability to create interactive questions. Let's search for a video. I can choose the video that I would like. If I select it, I can preview it, look at the description and any standards that are attached. This YouTube channel does that. I have the option to just add the video without any interactive questions. In order to add interactive questions to this video, click this Add Questions button. Right now, we can play the video. And as topics come up that I would like to add questions for, you will be able to add questions by clicking Add. I pause it where I want the question to pop up, click Add. And now I get to choose. Is it going to be multiple choice, check boxes, or open-ended? Open-ended responses will not auto-grade. I'll continue to watch my video. Find another spot. Maybe I add a multiple choice question here. Add in as many choices as I would like. For multiple choice, you want to make sure that you select which one is correct. It does want you to make sure that you have four options. If you leave one blank, all you need to do is delete that and you only have three options. Last but not least, I'll add another uh, type of question. Pause it where I want the video to be. I'm going to add check boxes this time. Again, if you do not want four options, go ahead and delete. You could also change this to true or false. Be sure to select all answer options that would be correct. Save and continue. So I have added three types of questions, an open-ended, a multiple choice, and a checkbox. If I would like to try this as a student, I can click on this preview button. When you are done and you are happy with how this looks, you can click attach. And now it is part of the assignment. I'm going to assign this to my class. The student experience is really similar to what they would experience with any other assignment. They would find it in their classwork page, open up the YouTube video link. They would watch the video and work through the questions. Whenever the video gets to the point where you added the question, it will automatically pause. They will respond to each question. They'll click Submit and Continue. They'll keep watching the video, answer their questions. If it is multiple choice or checkbox, they'll know right away whether they got the correct answer. They will be able to do self-checking. So if they answer it incorrectly, they'll click Submit and it will ask them to try again. So this really is a practice to mastery type of assignment. They'll click continue, finish watching the video, and they'll be able to see a summary of their answers. They'll see what's correct and what is needed from their teacher to review. They feel like they're done, they can click turn in. When students have turned this assignment in, you do get some data on it. You can look at class insights. And we can see that this student has two correct answers so far. Um, we have one that's ungraded and two that are marked as correct. I can grade this. I can then give them a total score. I can look by problem for my entire class. I can see who has completed the assignment, who has not. I can look at this by student and I can give them a grade here. I can send them private comments, all that good stuff, and then I can return it to them. So easy. 
when you have more than one student complete this work, you will get data as far as most frequently missed questions or best questions. Hope you enjoy adding some interactive questions. Let us know how you use this new feature.